G'day, let's play some more EU4 in our Rights of England campaign. So we've uh, given up on the Florentine trade thing, sent the guy back to uh, Geldum, and wait for these guys to arrive. I remembered this time to turn the army maintenance up before we start a war. And don't care about handing out Condottieri. So we will probably split this up, because I assume he's going to have a pretty small standing army. He's got a truce with people, so he's probably just ended a war. Alright, declare war, show superiority seems to have changed. Now, get a bonus war score from winning battles. Over 10% of war score from battles will give you a ticking war score, rather than winning 80% of battles. So that's cool. Uh, we'll make this a colonial war. And let's confirm. So the one without the leader goes up this way. One with the leader goes into the Terra Incognita <clears throat> on his way down to their capital. Nobility concerned with loss of privileges. Do they really matter? Oh, God. Don't want to lose that much army tradition, even though it is, or was, trending up. Hmm. What we'll do is we'll get a new general now. Uh, one, three, three. Uh, I don't know. Have another go. Yeah, he's got siege, but he's not fantastic. All right. Now we'll lose the army tradition, and assume it's going to come up now. Yep, up by one per year. Plus whatever we grab doing the uh, slaughter of these guys. <clears throat> Alright, they will go there. These guys will continue on. Has that sped them up? Second January. It has. Cool. <clears throat> does he not have an army? He does have one somewhere down there. And Zapotabrad died. He is not elective anymore either. Okay. Royal marriage. Hmm. Oh crap, he's got a 636. Uh, Tunja's ours. So again, we'll head. We can't head past because of that. Yeah, should have got a conquistador. No. Oh. Spread of disease. Is that a chance down? No. 40 ducats for faster colonization. And a free diplomat. Well, we have to wait for his capital to fall. Otherwise, we could go to war with the Mamluks. We do still have a single claim on them. You have to be cautious about the Ottomans joining a coalition, though. Learned our lesson there. Uh, right, Austria, Bohemia, Brandenburg. Anybody change their mind about this war? So there's a truce. That was till 53, was it not? April. Alright, how fast are we getting printing press? Not fastly enough. Uh, 30, 40. <clears throat> Coastal center of trade is causing the extra spread there. Alright, next idea. Save us a little money. We're at 4 ducats 50. Saves us a ducat. I guess we could also mothball the forts, since we're only at war in the new world. Which also means probably not paying for the fleet. Alright, no debate in Parliament. Uh, extra colonist and the settler increase. Yeah, don't like how that completely failed before, but we'll select that. This time we'll be careful not to actually win the debate. Stay at 83 for now. Pretty sure it's just because we won too easily. And before the debate had started, I think is the reason that it uh, failed. Told us that we won, but then didn't give us the thing. Alright, Siege of Bogota is done. They'll head on. Looks like they must have an extra thing. And what do we want to take? Everything. Could almost do it. Has a little bit of money. He'll disappear, so that'll be it. Alright, well. Let's go down and have a look at the rest of Muisca. Peace offer. We laugh. Alright, Adolphus comes in. Uh, horrible train penalty. And we win. Keep moving on. 
of positive manpower. All right, and where our um, thing was for Savoy. Yeah, conquer Savoy. Guess we should probably think about doing that. We're up to 73 now. And the battle went our way. But you said more than 10% of war score. Yeah, okay. Because we've got 11. 11 is more than 10% of 73, I guess is the way that works. Alright, Kalka. I want to see as much of the land as we can. Esmeraldus is ours. We can keep them moving on. Pretty sure it's going to be the last province. Quito. Hmm. Well, we would love to finish this before that. We can take Quito if we just ask for less money. Damn it. Alright then. We're going to have to stay there and finish it off. And the colony's done. Excellent. And Quito. Need these guys over there. Um, how many men? Six. Okay. So get rid of everything except for one and them. Alright, they offer crap and I uh, discovered in Savoy. Of course we are. Nothing that we can do with them. We could break their alliance with Mantua. Uh, I would rather do that the other direction. So, Mantua. Break your alliance with Savoy. Yes. Awesome. Use our deadly ninja powers. Assume they're still guaranteed by somebody. Spain. Yep. So, we're obviously not going to do that. Alright. Back over here. Got them. I have a few claims. And where are we at? 26. Next claim is at 30. I guess we might as well put up a spy network in France with the spare. We're a martial educator. I'm ruling Iliometrician. Get that now. Uh, decay goes down, but it's not going to make as much difference as it was before. We'll spend the Diplo on other stuff. And we've got the Siege of Quito. Good. Which means, let's come in here and take his entire goddamn country. And that's all we can do. Causes us to suffer 69 over extension. I doubt it. Send that. And we lost nearly 6,000 manpower doing this. Alright. Um, is this all in whatever that zone is? It is. Alright. Bring everybody together. Group them up. And not much else we can do there. So. Yeah, they left anyway. Um, let's just join these together. Manhattan. Go. They're on our Condottieri. And we can do admin and diplo. Hmm. I think we'll go for development. Price of coffee goes up till the end of the game. We gain money and prestige is the uh, kick ass bit of that. Alright, that would be Portugal spreading across. And of course, we were discovered in Geldum right before I got to click the thing. And apparently, they had an army up there. The Northern Rebellion, great. Sought to bring about religious settlement with the objective of establishing in England a Protestant Anglican church with itself as the supreme governor. Things began to fray around there just when... Okay. Uh, gain stability, and there's a ton of crap we have to deal with. Keep Norfolk in the tower and start to negotiate. Cavalry cost goes down. What was positive there? Just missionary strength. Tech, yeah. Stability is the only thing you'd do that for. Or lose stability to release him. Lose stability. Increase aristocracy with cavalry costs. 
All right, so the difference is stability at the cost of fighting those guys. And the increased aristocracy lasts longer. All right, please the stability. Means we might have to start dealing with a few things over here. Wiskins will be okay. <clears throat> Alright, gain stability. Or military power. I'll take the admin. And the prestige. Alright, bit of a decay on that. But let's go kill them first and then. Well, actually, on the way past. We'll just detach a dude. Alright, Adolphus, do your job. Nice. No more dealing with them. These guys will head up to Maracaibo. As these guys finish off and then go join them. Good, good. Alright, so all of these issues are his problem. Whiskin, Caravan, Arawak. Keep going. Bloody Austrians. Polish reconquest of Notek. Poland, Pushkov, Lithuania, Unholt. Defensive war, allied with Denmark and the Pope. Okay. Well, clearly we have to do it. Group up, and we're heading back. We are going to defend. But first, we're going to see if we have supply limit. There we do. All right, we'll go and take that. And do we have to worry about fleets? Not in the slightest. We've got double his men. A big chunk of that is us. Hungary will do a lot of the work in this one. <clears throat> and could we head over to Unholt, perhaps? No, we'll save our manpower. Alright, unfortunately Castile weren't called in so we can't mess with these guys. Why am I not seeing... Okay, he's not protected anymore. Felt hats. Beaver fur is good. And we will see about coming down to Dauphin. We're allowed to walk through France at the moment. We can start a few more conversions. Start in Cyprus. And two years ahead of time. Somebody's already gone ahead on military. Probably France. And we'll grab reinforced speed within, well, next month. Suffering attrition in Dauphin. So I guess we'll declare the war now. We'll do it <clears throat> over Draguignan. We call nobody in. Can't declare a colonial war. Um, yeah, confirm that. Straight to his army. We can put Leicester in charge. Get there in time. It's mountainous. Alright. Then he... Looks like he's come down to Draguignan. And there's our idea as well. Um, reinforce speed. So I'm not, yeah, full humanist and individual creeds are making this cheaper. Improved foraging for the land attrition would be fantastic to have as well. All right, there goes his army. So we'll consolidate these. We'll detach here. And we'll have this one, that one, three going there. And how many are we going to need in Savoy? That would be nine, wouldn't it? Three there, nine there. So one guy goes around. One guy goes up. Um, three go to Piedmont. And these guys are hooked up through Dauphiné. We'll go figure out Savoy... Uh, what we'll need will be no cavalry. That'll give us 12. And let's go with 10. 
and supplies in the mountains will be okay soon. Alright. Everybody gets into position. Let's check we're alright. Three there. Six there. I'm saying a nine because it's... Yeah, it's not his capital. Um, which means we can pull off three of these. Back down to Dauphiné. And we can convert Anjou. Monfra is ours. We'll stay there doing some looting. This one's going to become ours, so we don't want to loot it. Same with both the forts. Alright, so we'll just keep him there and keep him up there. We're not going to take anything that we don't have the claim on. So, I assume there's going to be supply limit. There is. Loot the crap out of it. Switzerland one access. We'll trust them. And Unholt lost nothing, but he's gone. Okay, let's send his army somewhere else. And Eric Nier has come through to Fife. Just not at war with them anymore. Okay, Queen Consort of the People. It's become clear that Queen Consort Maria is a woman with a heart of gold. Lose ducats and admin for unrest reduction. Uh, it's not going to change anything in the slightest. So we have more important matters to deal with. And we discovered in France again. Who is at all surprised about that? Now, once we take this, we will be able to do things to Milan and to Florence. So we'll go back to building up spy networks. Milan, Florence, and we could have actually been doing stuff to the Pope. Um, put spy network in the papacy. One of these is supposed to be going up there. Alright, Taras on tobacco, we gain crap. Alright. Hopefully that just happened this month. Um, do we want to do any culture conversions? Where's accepted cultures? We could convert the crap out of these. It's not Protestant. They're all reformed. Okay. Well, accepted cultures up here. Already started that before, so it's just taking a long time. Alright then, guess we're doing development. Or where else could we... I know everything else should be good enough. Although... Change this to English. Change this one. Uh, Welsh, Welsh, Scottish, Egyptian. 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 Holy crap, Alexandra. Alright. And then we're going to do development with admin. And these are still sorted by autonomy. So we get the biggest bang for our buck. And... Yeah. Keep going with London first. Then we can't do any more because of the balance of the other two. Alright, point one, 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 seven. Armagnay gets up to 20. Uh, let's boost... Well, that's probably enough. <laughs> Went a bit overboard. Okay. So the gain rate on that is... Alright. Two years to get this back. So yeah, we spent a bit too much. Establish a penal colony in New York. Local settler increase goes up with unrest. Yes. I'm going to claim Friesland, Bejrak, Alençon, Cahors. Wow. That's crap. Okay. It'll be a while till the war with France anyway. And how's our looting going? There's still a bit to do. Merge them. Now the Pope. Allied with Poland, or he's allied with Spain. Okay. And Austria's been re-elected. So you got the issue with the uh, whole thing going on. The uh, heretic princes in the Empire. Just our claim on Languedoc. And these guys... Where are we? We have a claim until 65. It'll last a little while longer. Alright, we can invest in Diplo still. Wait until the end of this year. 
and yeah, production efficiency doesn't matter, it's going to take us longer on that. All right, one siege of Piedmont. What do we actually want? We need a dude. Um, Milan. All right, the new generation, school three, army reformer, commandant, or master recruiter. Well, crap. If I knew what all three of those did, I would have a better idea. So I'm going to take a short break here. I'm going to go look that up, see what's going to work best for us. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.